Okay, let's try a hack on Google Gruyere out there. Uh, we're going to do cross-site scripting or XSS. Uh, X obviously for cross. Uh, we're going to try an embedded XSS because we're going to embed the code in the website where others will stumble across it and hopefully use it. XSS is a real deal. Uh, people have gone to, to jail for it. Uh, if you want to Google Disneyland with the death penalty, uh, feel free. And Google will pay over $3,000 for discovering uh, a bug on their website, an, an XSS bug out there. And it's one of the most common vulnerabilities found in web apps today. Uh, in a survey that was done, uh, they found that over a quarter of all the sites in the survey had XSS in vulnerability. Uh, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it on a Google Gruyere and we'll see uh, what happens uh, out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put up a new snippet. And the bit that starts a ringing alarm bells with me is limited HTML is now supported. Uh, so there's a possibility of doing stuff out there. So it's unclear at this point what the limits are. So let's try one of the most vulnerable ones out there. And what we'll do is we'll try to put in some JavaScript, nice and simple. So what we'll do is we'll put in some script and we'll say it is text uh, JavaScript. And we'll just get it to do an alert. And the alert will be just something like, hi. It's pretty basic. And we'll try a closing that script. Now, as I said in my introduction, this is written in Python, but we're using JavaScript here. And even if you are on a hardware course, knowing a little bit of JavaScript and a little bit of Python is, is well worth it. So we'll try this. We'll submit that one and see what happens. So we can go back to my script, back to my site, sorry. And unfortunately, that one doesn't seem to be working, which didn't surprise me. Uh, most script tags are scrubbed from contacts. The minute a website sees a script, it thinks, oh, that's going to be malicious. Let's not do that one. So we'll try doing it another way. So we'll try another new snippet. And this time we'll be a little bit more clever. And this time we'll do it as a mouse over. So this time on mouse over an alert and see uh, if it works on that one. So let's submit that one. Looks tempting. Read this. And the minute I've moved my mouse over it, I've got my little pop-up saying, hey, so that looks like that is a, a goer. So we've got something we have want there. On mouse over, slips past most sanitizers. Uh, so we've got a little bit of stuff out there. So we can also take that further. We can start playing with cookies. So yet again, another new snippet. And this time we're going to 
save a cookie to the machine uh, as well. So let's submit that one. And it'll be the top one. And up at the top there, uh, you can see it's sending out a cookie to the machine uh, out there. And cookies are how websites identify when it's you it's returning to a site as opposed to the other million or so individuals that's come out there. Uh, HTTP doesn't have the ability to access information about your identity and security. It has to be inside the request. And cookies are hashes, or sometimes if they're really bad, plain text. And these things store information, allow you to log in without having to put the details in every time. You're authenticated automatically eh, by your, your cookies. And there's a problem. We can start stealing cookies. And if we did that, we'd have your login information. We may have your, your payment information. And I wouldn't have to know your password. I can get straight into it out there. So we can start to play with things. Uh, for Google, Gruyere, it's not a problem, cookies. But if this was Amazon or eBay or something like that, uh, we can start to, to play with there. So there is the start of a very simple cross-site script. What I would recommend is you go and you try some of the other ones on there and just see what you can upload and what you can't upload.